First reporter Joshua Skinner. He is live now outside of the Four Seasons Hotel. Uh, Joshua, there is a shelter in place. There are several road closures. It appears that you're in a, an area of that perimeter where there are no people whatsoever. That's correct. There's nobody behind us now. There's just this perimeter. There's still a bunch of traffic. Police are imploring us to tell everyone to stay away. As you can see, there's still some traffic moving, some bystanders. Police trying to get people to stay away. Let's just give you a quick update of everything I've seen. I arrived. We heard about the call about the potential gunman. We arrived. We got right up to the front of the building while police and SWAT were getting ready to go in. Then they slowly moved us back. We went back to our vehicles, and then all of a sudden we heard gunshots. They moved everyone who was on the south side of the building away, and then they moved us to where we are now, which is 14th Street and Peachtree Northeast. Uh, and that's when the gunfire really started to pick up. And, I, and I, there was a five or 10 minute span where it seemed pretty constant between rapid fire uh, uh, shooting as well as what sounded like very heavy uh, rifle fire coming from very high up. It was hard to tell exactly where specifically that gunfire was coming from because it was bouncing off everything, making it seem even louder and closer than it probably was to us. But as you can see up there, I mean, that is the Four Seasons up there. It's a very large building, a lot of ground to cover. Uh, and we have not heard any gunfire, I would say. Uh, I'm going to ask my photographer, Sam, I don't think we heard any gunfire over the last five or ten minutes. No, uh, no gunfire in that time, so I don't know uh, where we are in the situation. But for a while there, it was gunfire. There were people ducking. There were people running but right now it's a little calmer they've moved us away again they tell us that we are safe here but as you as y'all have all mentioned if you are driving or trying to get to this area you're not gonna be able to get to it find somewhere else to go find a way uh, stay away for a while for your own safety not just for traffic purposes because this is still a situation where we're still hearing more and more sirens moving in from the south right now as well we can't see them but i can definitely hear them so again the situation still evolving still ongoing and we still aren't entirely sure how this is all playing out inside the building. You, as you were laying out here, and initially as this was all unfolding, were you able to see anyone out there? Because I know people were texting me saying, you know, they were getting texts as well from their companies saying to shelter in place. Um, have you had a chance to talk to anyone? I know no one's on the streets right now, as they should be, but as this was unfolding initially, what was the feel there? Well, when I first got here a couple of hours ago, there, before any of the gunfire, people were just, it was almost, you know, like being kind of at a, at, a, at a zoo. You're standing around and you're watching, you're like, well, this is interesting. This, you know, something you don't see every day. And then once those first gunshots happened, that's when it changed. Everyone started moving. Everybody started running away and, and moving around. Police started moving everybody back. Uh, that's when the situation escalated uh, quite quickly and quite uh, to the extreme. But talking to people beforehand, there wasn't a lot of, of worry. They were actually kind of surprised that this would be happening in a Four Seasons. Uh, now when we're talking to people, it seems that everyone has a general idea of kind of what's happening here. And it's kind of, uh, oh, my gosh, you know, is everybody OK? And that's an answer we don't know as of right now. There's a lot we don't know, so we don't want to tell them. What we do know is that there has been plenty of gunfire. I did have a police officer who went running by earlier. I asked him about the loud sounds and if he had if maybe what we were hearing was some kind of explosion. He said he didn't think they were explosions, but they were definitely very large caliber rifle fire going on coming uh, from inside that building. As a uh, gentleman's trying to go by here and the police are trying to stop him, maybe jump there for a quick second. Uh, but uh, yeah, as you see, I mean, some people still trying to go by and police are having to try and stop them and turn them around to keep them from going down this road. It is, they're just imploring people to stay away as much as possible. Uh, right now, guys. Uh, Josh, we'll let you do your work. I mean, we can't underscore, you know, the time of day that this is, and that street would be, all the streets would be packed with cars, people heading home, getting ready to head home from their jobs. So certainly a lot of concern for people stuck in this right now. There were some concerns possibly that MARTA uh, is impacted, but MARTA bus and rail lines, we just checked. Uh, we've been told Atlanta News First can confirm that they are not impacted, but uh, we have Atlanta News First. We have uh, Carly Barnett. You're inside the, fir uh, the First Alert uh, Breaking News Center. You've been able to find out there are several road closures. Uh, can you list those off? Because we're at the height of the evening of traffic hour. Sean Blair, as you mentioned, I mean, this is this is a really busy time of day, and there are a number of road closures that we, as we just saw with reporter Joshua Skinner, they are turning people around who may not realize what exactly is happening here. So I do want to list these off. Uh, I want you to go ahead and listen up to these because Atlanta police say 14th Street Northeast at West Peachtree Street Northeast and Crescent Avenue Northeast. 13th Street Northeast at West Peachtree Street Northeast and Crescent Avenue Northeast and the Peachtree Walk 
All of those are closed. You saw that crime scene tape up. Those are being completely blocked off while investigators try to get the situation under control. Come over to your screen. Take a look at this map here. It gives you a little bit of a better idea of where exactly the Four Seasons Hotel is and where all of this is unfolding. Now, Sean, you mentioned MARTA. We do know that MARTA police are now assisting with this investigation. So we now know this is a multi-agency uh, situation. We know SWAT officers are out there, as uh, Joshua Skinner reported and saw. Uh, but keep that in mind. If you want to see uh, these road closures, maybe maybe you're out and about, maybe you're not able to write those down. You can look for this story on AtlantaNewsFirst.com. We are updating it every single minute that we learn something new. We are in close contact right now with Atlanta police as we continue to get answers on what exactly is taking place at that Four Seasons in Midtown right now. Blair, oh. Sean.